Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and our Let's Play series. I just briefly uh, emptied my pockets a tiny little bit. Now we're just going to put up more beautiful decorations and then as promised, the tiny little villager hunt is going to happen. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I don't expect much since we literally have one ticket and I'm not going to uh, for this hunt, I'm not going to get more from uh, like my other islands or a treasure island. So we have to kind of work with what we get. I am hoping this is a cutie because I kind of want to take this uh, person, like whoever it is, um, because that means the plot is filled like quicker because no one, no one is like, there's no guarantee that if I time travel to tomorrow without taking them, that the plot is going to be filled because it has something to do with like the queue and... <laughs> having visited other people or something. So I I have absolutely no idea. Um, so we're crossing our fingers and we're manifesting, we're manifesting for someone who's cute, but this could be anyone. We're not tied to any, uh, any characters or um, personalities, that's the word. Not like tied to any personalities anymore. And so there's a lot of weird options. I've once raided every single villager in Animal Crossing, and um, there's a lot of weird options, so let's see. Wilbur, I hope you took me somewhere good. Oh. Dang it! Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna take them. We're gonna take them, it's okay. They're gonna probably ask to move out pretty soon. And so we're gonna take them and it's going to be fine. I will just quickly collect all the stuff that I can get. Um, I'm also seeing Cosmos, which is um, kind of fun. And I actually think that I might fill up my storage. And we have Rio, the new, uh, the new villager, I think. Great to meet you. How are you? I'm Rio. Welcome to my hypetastic island getaway. It's on my island, but it will be. I want to. I want to be a pop star. Or else she's, so she's peppy, huh? All right. So I, this is, has to be different ways. Okay, it's not my island, but it will be. I want to be a pop star, and all pop stars own islands. So you're Malene from Callan, Bab. I love meeting new folks, aka new fans. Whatever. The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Spending time on an island is the best way to find your inner calm and hug it as hard as you can. If I lived on an island, little chick, I'd be the calmest, most relaxed ostrich pop star you ever met. Do you want to live on my island? Move to Callan? Oh my gosh, yes. I could move to any old island, but this is way better since you'll be there. You hear that world? I'm moving to Callan. Yay! <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh, moving cake. So stressful, so much to do. Gotta calm down, center yourself, Rio. Find your happy place, calm down. Oh, all better. So all I've gotta do to get this train going is talk to Tom Nook. Easy, I cannot wait to have a chic Callan zip code. Mm-hmm. Same. Oh gosh, we'll talk about what, what villagers I want to have. Um, obviously Flurry. So to anyone who, who might be new to my content um, and my islands, Flurry is my absolute favorite villager of all time. She is the cutest little marshmallow hamster cutie patootie fluff ball that you ever did see. And so she actually is on all of my islands. Every single island I've finished, every single island, uh, dang it. Every single island that I'm currently working on, she is actually a part of it. So she will be part of this island as well. <laughs> um, I actually need tools. Can I just quickly get a flimsy shovel? That would be great. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I'm not... I'm not saying if she fits the theme or not, because usually she doesn't. Like, I've, I've made her uh, just part of, like, every island I've, <laughs> I've done so far. Um, you know, she even lives on an abandoned, overgrown city, or she was part of... Well, the Four Seasons Island was actually okay, because she was part of the winter section, which fit, you know, but, um, yeah. We're just gonna make her fit no matter what. Okay, I've gotten all the white ones, which I feel like are a bit more versatile. I have not gotten all the white ones. 
I am lying to you. Okay, we'll climb up as well since we now can do that, which is awesome. We couldn't do that last time we were on a, on a um, Milk Mile Island. Also, we have to take a picture here. We have to take a picture here. And tell people about the adventure. Great, okay. Um, and then I still got open spots, so we're, we're probably just gonna take all the flowers. Shall we take one here? Okay, wait, let's close up the, um, let's close up this here and then just kind of do a little picture where we run towards the island. Eh. Could I do first person maybe? Oh. Uh, hmm, not great, is it? Actually, that's not bad. You don't see her anywhere, right? Okay, perfect. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Okay, oh yeah, she was all the way on the right-hand side there. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So, we'll, we'll just take a couple more flowers, because I know that Isabel will love it. And then all the plots are sold, and we can time travel, and... I'm too excited. I need to calm down. Just like just like Rio, I need to center myself. Go to my happy place. What is my happy place though? Animal Crossing. But that's what's stressing me out. <laughs> Great. It's going well, y'all. Oh my gosh. Also, I don't know where this is coming from because I usually I used to not like when people said y'all, but I've really started to to say it because it's kind of like a gender neutral way of addressing you all, y'all. <laughs> you know, I, I just kind of like that. And then I'm not the biggest, like a, a lot of people, <laughs> I think, <laughs> oh gosh, please don't hate me for this, okay? But I feel like a lot of people in the Animal Crossing community, like a lot of content creators as well, are saying besties all the time. And I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like when people say besties because it's like, most of the time, like, it's someone you know just very distantly and then they say besties and I'm like, I feel like that it seems fake. I don't know. I know a lot of people do it and of course, like, if you want to keep doing it, of course I accept it and stuff, no worries, but like, I just don't, I don't feel comfortable with it. So I will, I just kind of say y'all because I feel like it's a... It's a nice way to be able to address everyone and not be like narrowing it down or, or putting it into the confinements of gender, whatever the heck that means for everyone. You know, it's different for all of you. So um, I don't want to be leaving anyone out. So I feel like y'all is kind of a kind of a, an OK way to say. Um, and then, you know, once you've kind of implemented some of these phrases that you always say, it's just it's so hard to get them out. Just like I say, like for most of my questions, I end them with you know, because oftentimes I'll explain something and then I'll run out of like things I wanted to say regarding the topic or like arguments I wanted to make. And so I could just kind of trail off and I'm like, you know, it's just like, you know, so it's, um, you know, <laughs> and that kind of happens. Oh wait, you know what? This is kind of dumb now. Like these are fully grown and I feel like we should put these on the, on the beach. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll start with the beach on the left because, or like the part of the beach on the left that doesn't have a house. Um, because they're not as like weirdly interrupted then. Okay, let's kind of, let's just kind of put the flowers here. I'm scared of it going onto the land. So let's stand here and just put all of them down. I'm pretty sure that they still count towards like the rating. So um, yeah. Oh, that's that was all the white ones already. Wow, they yeah, they don't really hold too many flowers, do they? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Um, if you're new to again, if you're new to my content, I live by the philosophy of um, <laughs> philosophy. I live by the philosophy. Um, is that was that correct to anyone who knows or has watched Modern Family? Was that correct? Is it philosophy? The philosophy, or is it just philosophy? 
Um, but yeah, I very much live by the um, by by the uh, philosophy or like according to the philosophy. I don't know how the the English like grammar goes here. Um, no tile left behind. If you're new to that concept, it's great. Basically means every single tile on your island needs to be covered with something. The beach may not be part of that, but apart from that, like the entire land, every tile has to hold something. So either it's um, gonna be like a tree or a flower or a shrub or like natural things like that. Uh, this is now real, right? Yes. Uh, or it's gonna be like an item or a custom design code. And I feel like that is what makes most of the time, the islands that kind of live by the standard, whether they know about it being called the no tile left behind, or also hashtag NTLB. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a burger, actually. Um, but yeah, usually those islands are the ones that seem just like very, very detailed and very awesome and stuff. So and that's something I've just kind of started doing <laughs> on my islands. You do have to be careful for it to not lag too horribly although sometimes sometimes it's kind of required for islands to lag like my city island for example i don't think i could possibly build that without it lagging so we're just accepting it really we're just embracing the lag and we're just calling it a little slideshow a little picture slideshow of an island isn't that great <laughs> no i know that's not everyone's not to everyone's taste i know a lot of people just <gasps> bug i know a lot of people just want to play on their islands you know be able to catch bugs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, usually that is not my focus with islands. So I, I also, for example, have that one island that is completely flat. So there's a bunch of like fish or bug bugs that I'm not gonna be able to really catch on my island, but that's really okay with me because I at some point just don't do those things anymore, really. Speaking of doing those things though, let's quickly try and find the money rock and then we can go to the next day. Oh. Perfect. Thank you, game, for cooperating. Very much appreciated. Oh god, I was worried for a second I was not gonna get that. <gasps> and more miles! Oh, d was it just for, like, hitting a rock? Maybe? I think so. Probably. I don't think there's, like, another achievement for money rocks. Yes. Okay, we got 200 miles, though. I will take those. Uh, we're above 8,000 miles again. I feel like we could purchase a great little something with that. Although, we're not going to do that because uh, the next thing I'm, I want to purchase is the landscaping license. Okay, okay, we'll jump to the next day. Sorry, we'll jump to the next day, get Ryu to move in, and see what Isabel has to say about the island. Um, and I will see you at the morning announcement. And there we go. I already uh, seen that it is raining today, so... <sighs> Not the best day for reaching three stars, but we're going to do it regardless. I'm determined. I hope you're determined as well, because it's finally time. <laughs> now for today's announcement. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Callan welcome to Rio. Congrats, Rio. I'm sure you'll uh, enjoy island life here. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Okay. Do you think we already have three stars? I don't know. We could. We possibly could because I do have a bunch of flowers planted, but we don't have um, all that much furniture stuff. <sighs> I hope we do. Without checking anything else, honestly, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just go ahead and do it and see. Um, I, I think the hyacinth flowers also started kind of growing in the background. Yeah, they're talking to me. Okay. Ah, Malene. Hello, hello. We're getting more inquiries about the uh, inquiry, inqu inquiries, inquiries about the campsite you helped build. My plan to draw visitors easily with the campsite has proven, it, proven itself to be a masterpiece. We've laid the groundwork to increase tourism and, I hope, the number of island residents. Now, if that positive word-of-mouth marketing about Callum will just spread, I admit it, though, this is the most difficult part of our whole venture. Don't you worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having KK hold a concert here. You feel the same way I do, don't you, Moline? Um, dreams do come true. 
Isabel, Maline, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm more determined than ever. We're not done, Maline, and we're all counting on you. When you're ready to talk about the next part of the project, come ask me, what should I do? Oh, I'm running to ask the question. <laughs> okay, look, what should I do? I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. We started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with col collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase your population, improve the island's scenery, and turn Callan into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Well then, thanks for your help, huh? Okay, Isabel, tell me. Welcome, Maline. In case you don't remember, I'm Isabel. I look forward to being of assistance with your life here on Callan. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. We can delve into the details when specific con concerns arise. No need to worry about that right now. But since you're here, I may as well ask, do you have any specific concerns at the moment? Indeed, I do. Oh, this is so exciting. My first official request. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't professional, was it? Now then, how can I help you today? Let's talk island evals. Oh, wonderful! It seems you're as excited to hear about the image of your island as I am to talk about it. Well, allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data from my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is then ranked using the well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and a well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can achieve that perfect balance and welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to rise. As it stands, we currently have a three-star rating. <laughs> We've built a solid reputation and come up during many a water cooler chit chat. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. Cal and man, hearing about how chill it is, I'd go if I had the chance. K.S. Well, there you have it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I hallucinating or was that feedback signed by a K.S.? Hmm? Yes. There is, very clear. K.S. And the penmanship is quite striking, if I do say so myself. Could it be? Can it be? It must be. That message is from the one and only K.K. Slider. What? I can't believe it! We finally achieved our goal of bringing our island to the attention of the K.K. Slider. Not only that, but he said he's looking for an excuse to visit. Then what are we waiting for? Yes, yes, let's offer him the chance to hold a concert on our shores. Strike while the iron is hot, they say. All thanks to me. You're welcome. <laughs> he's not picking up. He's like, nope. <laughs> ah, hello. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with a Mr. K.K. Slider? Y yes, yes, I'm with Nook Inc. located on Callan. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed we did. We greatly, we greatly appreciate your valuable feedback. That's actually why I'm calling. If you're truly interested in visiting Mr. Slider, we would be happy to host you and your musical stylings. Yes, quite. I see. Oh my, you mean... <clears throat> Thank you so much. Yes, I'll be, I'll be sure to mail you all the details straight away. The entire island will be looking forward to it. Thank you again. Yes, yes, talk to you soon. He's so excited, it's kind of cute. So, what did he say? He'll do the concert. That's right, KK Slider is coming here. <gasps> Amazing, congratulations, sir. Hello. <sighs> Rude. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna say it in Isabel's voice, but that's not it. <clears throat> um, he could be here as soon as tomorrow, but he has to check his schedule, of course. Maline, can you believe it? We finally turned our goal into reality. No, I have turned your goal into reality. You know, we'll spread news of the concert via our island broadcast system. I do hope you'll be in attendance, Maline. You simply must hear KK play. Yes, yes, you must. Okay. <laughs> We did it! And now I don't know what to do. 
<laughs> we did it, y'all. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, ah, yes, yes. I have something to tell you, Moline. It's about our campsite. Waiting for visitors is okay, but maybe you're interested in taking a more proactive approach. If so, you can use Amiibo to invite guests to the to the campsite with the new service I've added. You can access the service via the Nook Stop. It works with an Animal Crossing character's Amiibo. All right, nice. Okay. Um. Oh, we lost our streak. Oh yeah, for I forgot to check. Right. Okay. Well, it's it's fine. It's fine. A pink bike, of course, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, rodeo style springy on, nice. I don't know if I wanna get that. Um, and then I'm not gonna check the Nook Malls right now because we're just gonna check it when we get to the three stars, which is the next day, which we'll also, I think, do in this episode. And then um, next time we're gonna start flattening and talking about the theme, possibly. Gotta look at all this mess. We have a lot to clean up. Um, all right, before we before we go skip, um, we are gonna go and briefly do a couple of dailies, I think, uh, just very quickly. I will go to Nook's Cranny and I will go to the Able Sisters, just uh, kind of check if we have anything that is interesting. Ooh, wait, today's selection is very good. Okay, I kind of want to get everything if I can. Director's chair, 1,600, I will buy that. I do really like the menu sign. I think that's uh, a very pretty item. And then we can also customize it with Harv, uh, or with like Reese and Cyrus, pretty much. And there's like another uh, option for it. The coffee cup, also 270, we'll do that. And then honestly, I kind of want to get this because maybe who knows, we're gonna use that in our house or something, you know? Um, all right, that was a pretty good selection. Thank you. And I will talk to you very soon. And now let's hope that Maple and Sable also have equally as exciting, um, equally exciting things. <laughs> I don't know if they do though. I, oh, okay, I see a grape dress. Not a great, but a grape dress. We spend some bells, which will get will gets us which gets us some miles. Tongue twister right there. There's some more uh, shells. Also, I think we can probably sell a bunch of shells, and uh, I can already tell that's gonna give us give us uh, some some miles as well. Uh, I'm not excited about the concert happening though because our um, our lineup of villagers is very interesting. Hey, um, it's great that you're such a loyal customer and everything, but I I've just got a ton of work to get through. Uh, thanks for understanding. Sorry. I don't mean to disturb her, but I just know we're gonna be friends. You know, we just, we have to, ooh, we have to keep going. Wait, there's some cute stuff today, I think. Aw, oh, little sailor style shirt. Actually also kind of cute. I love the corduroy pants. I do love those in, I don't know what color. Um, the dresses, no. <gasps> a do-rag, yes, please. I will get a do-rag. Oh, okay, there is glasses, but the <laughs> I think there are no for me. We can get some bobby socks though. They're kind of cute. Um. Ooh, and cool shoes too. Okay, kind of want to. Don't want to get the socks now. Or maybe these. And we're gonna get corduroy pants. And we're gonna get a different shirt as well. Um, I don't know what color of corduroy pants we should go for. Cause I'm not. I don't know what what top we should get either. Too many choices. Too many choices, plus. Okay, that's kind of cute. We'll go with this. Shall we go? Shall we? Oh, yes. Yes. Actually, let's go with this. We are going to wear this. This will be our, uh, this will be our concert outfit. Looking sharp. I know, Mabel. Excuse me. I look so cool. <laughs> I, it's cute, isn't it? It's cute. Okay, with this awesome new attire. <gasps> so cool. Also, finally have glasses. I finally can see. Hello, Annabelle. 
Um, just want to see if someone is crafting. So we're just going to quickly pop in. Um, but if Phil isn't crafting, I think, you know what? We're not going to... Oh my god, Rio's house. <gasps> Message bottle. Um, Rio's house is... <laughs> no. Oh my god! Stacked shopping baskets? That's so good! That's a really good one. No bugs on the rocks. Okay. One of, one of these days. One of these days. Okay, Phil... If you could be crafting something, that would be great, because then I don't have to check any more houses. <laughs> but maybe he's not, which also, I guess, that's fine. Oh, yeah! Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Back for another episode of The Phil Show. Uh, if it's Phil from Modern Family, sure, but, you know. An ironwood clock! Okay, also good. Do you want to hear more about it? Either the dream or the ironwood clock? Him wanting to tell me about his dreams with this wallpaper combination stuff going on. No, thank you. Uh oh, I've already forgotten my dream, but I have the recipe written down right here. You can have it. Thank you, Phil. Okay, thank you for the recipe. Mm, also, not a not a bad um, not a bad thing to learn. Really. It really isn't. Okay, ironwood clock. Let's go. Yes! Alrighty, and then... Um... Oh, we could see if we spot the um, money tree thing anywhere, because that always, obviously, is a priority, or like, it's a, it's a good thing to get. If we can. Mmm... There's a cool bug. My god, Flick, really? It's time for you to come by. Oh, maybe he is. Did Isabel say anything about a visitor? I don't think so. But she should start saying it, right? I I feel like that should start happening soon, because she does talk about vi the visitors. Hmm. Okay, I don't see it. There is another bug, though. There's some fossils here, but I'm kind of tempted to just leave them there for now because I want this to be a little quicker. My gosh, we look so cool. <laughs> oh, those aren't my favorite glasses, but somehow I kind of find them cool with this outfit. I like them. <laughs> okay, I don't see the money, um, the money dig spot anywhere. At least not, like, close to us. Let me get the shells. Um, I don't want to spend, like, super long looking for it. I do have money, though. Like, there's a fully grown money tree. I also will gladly accept that. But I don't... Oh my god, more bugs! Like, literally. It's it's your sign. And there's a lost book. Oh yeah, I was, I was too fast. There's a lost item. I picked up a lost item. I should probably try to reuni reunite this with its owner. And there is a piece of wood that I apparently missed before. Mm-hmm. Also, it's raining today, which is very good for our carrot starters. Um, they will hold, like, a little bit more then. There's Rooney there, who... I don't want to talk to you right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm rushing right now, but I, I, I genuinely want to get that concert done, you know? Done and over with. No, I'm just, I... Ah. It's just so exciting because, like, after this, honestly, everything is, like, open to go wherever we wanted to. Right? Yeah. Okay, we're also going to quickly shake these. Um... I don't know where the spot is. Should we abandon it for today for the sake of the concert? Maybe. Maybe we'll go do just that. <laughs> I think we're gonna go do that. Okay. So, with that being done, and me not seeing it anywhere, I may have run past it or something. I mean, that can always happen, but I think not. 
probably on a higher tier. Okay, I can't, I'm saying we're gonna abandon it, but then I, I'm still determined and I'm still gonna try and find it, so. There's that, there's a lot of fossils around. Holy crap, why? Did we forget them or something at some point? And there's like six fossils now? Because there's a lot of fossils. There's a bug. There's another fossil? How many? How many fossils? I'm gonna be so rich when Flick finally gets here. He probably also, he's probably here today and I'm gonna just time travel and miss him. <laughs> I just know it. No, no, no money tree. Come on. There should be like a full grown one here though. Oh no, it's not fully grown, okay. Well, you know, it's getting there. It is getting there. No little glowing spot. Nope. Nope. Nowhere to be find. found. Nowhere to be found. <laughs> Nowhere to be found. Hmm. That's so sad. I don't know where it is. I must have seen it. Or I like I must have run past it, I mean. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely okay. Yep, okay, that's fine. We're gonna move to the next day because it's concert time, y'all. We do have an outfit. I think we look absolutely fly for it. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's the best outfit ever. I will meet you uh, when either the morning announcement starts or just when it kind of loads in. All right, it seems we do get a morning announcement. Let's see. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Calend, it's 3.53 p.m. on Sunday, July 17th, 2022. Now, today I have one very special announcement. The incredible, amazing musician KK Slider is here visiting Calend. Not only that, but Mr. Slider has graciously agreed to put on a special concert for everyone on the island. Stand by for a direct feed from the concert venue. I hope you all enjoy the show. Yeah, so now it loads directly into the concert. I see, I see, I see. <gasps> it's time, y'all. It's time for the concert. Oh my god, this is such an interesting lineup. Hey, Callan. It's real groovy being here today. Feels like this dream I once had when I was just a scruffy pub with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of hitting out on my own, wandering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Sorry about that. I do run on. Time to get your fingers snapping. Right on. This one goes out to all you cool cats on Callan. I call it Welcome Horizons. I'm so hyped. <sighs> oh, look at all of us vibing together. This is this is very special. Okay, Molly is super cute. And Hornsby. And then the Nooklings are here as well. Isabel is here, one of the last times she'll ever be out of the office. <laughs> and look at her outfit! Oh my god, the fit is so good. The fit is so good, I swear. <laughs> Such a hipster. Also, we need to chat about hairstyles, so... We'll do that sometime soon, but I'm- So I feel like I might have to keep this one, because it's kind of close to my real hair. I've only recently started using the curly hair method, so, um bringing out some natural movement and so it's a lot more curly wavy whatever than it used to be um and i feel like now this might be the accurate hairstyle i used to have that straight like bob with the side part which was perfect pretty much but it doesn't really fit anymore so yeah also i'm just talking over the concert that's kind of rude right <laughs> but i kind of feel awkward just sitting here in silence i guess <laughs> oh gosh Oh, 
Ryu also looks kind of cool. Also, I like that Ryu and Phil are next to each other. And our outfit is still... Chef's kiss. Perfect. With the tooth, everything. I do want to get the octagonal glasses at some point. Because those are, like, accurate pretty much, but, um, you know. Molly also can't see anything. I don't know why Coach is in front of her. Coach and me. <laughs> the smallest one is in the back. <laughs> Yay! Awesome. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll catch you next time. Yay! Awesome! Thank you, KK. Oh. Why did I clap longer than everyone else? <laughs> Why did I clap for longer than everyone else? Oh no. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Moline. Did you enjoy KK's concert? It was wonderful, wasn't it? I'm overjoyed that we could get him to play here. It's a special thing for sure. As a commemorative gift, I have a song, Welcome Horizons, for you. Thank you. <laughs> To listen to it, you'll need an item that can play music, and I do hope you enjoy it. I have some big news too. KK is apparently very fond of her island now. He's going to perform a show here every Saturday evening from now on. It really is amazing. Callan was once a deserted island, but now we can host important concerts. I'm so thankful to you and everyone else on this island. I guess my getaway package idea is a success. I hope Callan remains an enjoyable place to live for a long time to come. With your help, it will. Speaking of which, I've developed a new app that should help you make the island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now. And... There it goes. <laughs> yes! It's gonna be good. I hope. I hope. The app I've just sent you is called Island Designer. It's a special app from Nook Inc. that gives residents the ability to take part in bold island development. At first, you'll only have permission to create path, but you can use your miles to access more options like different kinds of paths and permits for changing your cliffs and rivers. Once you get a taste of island design, I think you'll want more. I encourage you to obtain all the necessary permits. Permits. Yes, yes, Callan has come a long way. I think I'll leave more and more of the future development of this island in the hands of in the hands of its residents. I'm glad we had this talk, Moline. On behalf of Nook Inc., I'm excited about our continued partnership and your Callan plans. I mean, I hope that not only Nook is excited about that. Wow, well now that KK is performed, it's time to focus on making island life better and better. That means living each day to the fullest, doing things I like, and having lots of fun. That do be right though. Honestly, that is the, the message that is that very true. That's the most important thing in playing Animal Crossing is to have fun. Uh, KK supports our island with his groovy brand of folk rock, so we should support him. The more KK shows you attend, the more Nook Miles you can earn. Okay, 300 miles. Thank you. Almost at 10k miles. Um, we will also just quickly remove these little dots and check our mail. Y yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the messages. Okay, uh, check our mail. Let's see. We do just get something from the Happy Home Academy. Oh, our point count went down. Oopsie. All right, and with that, I think we might be calling it an end or coming to an end in today's episode, um, which I think is a bit longer than usual, but with good reason. You know, there was an entire concert as part of it. Um, and the next time we see each other, I might also take a couple of days um, break in between this and the next recording so that I, you know, get a bit back on track with like uploading all the episodes and stuff. But next time we see each other, I think what we'll do is start our big cleanup of the island, uh, meaning all the furniture pieces and all the flattening pieces or like flattening bits and bobs as well. So, you know, chopping trees, filling in water and all that kind of stuff. And... We will be talking about the new theme next time, I think. Or maybe the time after that, but soon. Uh, soon you'll know the theme pretty much the next episode, but for you, there shouldn't be a gap in it. Um, anyway, long story short, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one.
because I feel like a lot of people might be interested in that exact episode where we talk about the theme. Um, and then thank you all for watching, for all the support until this point, for sticking with the Let's Play into, until this point. And I hope also going forward, it'll be lots of fun. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for everything. And um, I will see you in the next episode or the next video. And I hope you have an awesome time until that happens. Bye, everyone.